Okay, so the data set that we're looking at lists a number of counties in Ohio, and what they have is the rate of homicides and the rate of suicides, and these rates are per 100,000 people. Okay, this data is from 2008 to 2010. And we also have a fourth column called caution, and the caution is when um, the counts are really low, um, there might be some concern with that data. So we have kind of four pieces of information, um, the county, the homicide rate, the suicide rate, and whether we should treat that information with caution or not. So I'm going to start by making a scatter plot of the homicide uh, versus the suicide rates for all 26 counties. So I'll highlight those and I'll insert the scatter plot. And I see kind of what looks like two distinct clusters. So there's a cluster to the left and kind of a cluster to the right. And it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot going on here that might be helpful or useful to me. So what I want to do is see if maybe the difference is this caution yes and this caution no. So I want to sort these dots out so that the ones that I should treat with caution are one color and the dots that don't need to be treated with caution are a different color. Okay, so in order to do that, it might be easier if I sort my current data into a group of no's for caution and a group of caution yeses. So to do that, I'm going to highlight all four columns. And I'm going to go back to the home menu and on the far right is this choice called sort and filter that has an A, a Z, and a funnel. And I'm going to choose custom sort. When I'm doing this multicolor scatter plot, I want to sort by my categorical variable. So I'm going to choose the column titled caution, and then I'll just have it sort A to Z. It doesn't matter if it's A to Z or Z to A, as long as it just gets everything grouped together that's the same. All right, so now I have all my no's grouped together and all of my yeses grouped together. So that's one step closer. Okay, so now my plan is to break Y up into by categories and then pair it with its matching X value. So my homicide rate is my X variable and my suicide rate is my Y variable. And then what I'm going to do is further break this Y down so that it's broken by category. So either caution no or caution yes. So this is going to give me three columns here. And what I'm going to do is for each Y value, it's either a caution no or a caution yes, it's going to be one of these two, I'll pair that Y value with its X value. So if it was a caution no, the Y value goes here and the X value goes here. If it's a caution yes, and the Y value goes over here and the X value goes here. Okay, so each row still only has two numbers in it, which is what we need because each dot on our scatter plot represents an X and a Y value. So we just need that one X and the one Y that go together. So any of the no's, so all my X's go here, but any of the no's, I'll put the Y values in the no column. And if the caution is yes, then the Y value goes in the Y column. Right, so let's see kind of how that's going to look in Excel. Okay, so we're back in Excel and I want to get these columns set up. So here is my homicide rate and here is going to be my suicide rate. So this is my X variable and this will be my Y variable. And then I'm going to further split my Y variable up into caution no and caution yes. Okay, and then let me get these columns a little bit bigger here. All right. So these are all my titles here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by getting the caution no's. Both are the pieces of quantitative data. So I start with Clark County. I'll go all the way down to Trumbull. So those are all of the no's. And I'm going to copy that data and then I'm going to paste it into this new table I've created. So here's the X variable in this first column that matches with the corresponding Y value. Okay. And then to do the caution yes group, I'm going to go back and highlight from the homicide rate from Allen County 
all the way down to Wood County. So those are all the X values for a caution, yes. And I'll copy those and paste those in. And then I'm going to go get the matching Y values here. So the 9.2 that goes with Allen, down to the 7.4 for, for Wood. And then instead of putting it directly below the 16.6 here, I'm gonna go over to the caution, yes. And I'm gonna paste that data in there. Okay, so now I have, there's just two numbers in each row here in this new um, setup that I've created. So either two right next to each other or two with a gap, which is what we need to plot those points. And some are assigned the no, some are assigned yes. I'm gonna highlight all three columns, including the categorical label. So the caution no and the caution yes here. And when I do that and I choose to insert a scatter plot, it automatically will put a legend on the scatter plot for me so that I know the blue dots represent caution no and the orange dots represent caution yes. And you can still put in your horizontal and vertical axis labels. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I have homicide rate. And on the vertical one, I have suicide rate. Okay, so we have that all set up. So there's our scatter plot, the two colors, so we can see what we have going on. And now if you need to find the correlation coefficient for each of these separate categories, so the caution yes or the caution no, we'll start with the caution no. So I'll put equals C-O-R-R-E-L, our command for correlation coefficient. And then what I'm going to do is highlight just the X values for the caution no. So not the whole column, but just the ones that go with the no. So that's these. And then I'll put a comma and highlight the Ys that go with them. So both of these should be the same length. You notice the blue and the red are the same size box. So that'll give me, oh, that's a moderate relationship for the caution no's, this blue group here. And I can do the same thing for the caution yes. So I'll do equals C-O-R-R-E-L. And I'm gonna highlight only the X values that go with the caution yeses. So it's at 4.2 down to one. And then I'll put a comma and then I'll highlight the corresponding Y values. So you notice that again, these two boxes are the same size, which is what we want. And oh dear, so now we have 0 0.02 for the caution yeses. So there's really not much of a relationship going on there at all. And even when you look at this, it would be really difficult to figure out if that's uphill, downhill, flat, what that is. So there is good reason to be concerned about these caution yeses. They are distracting from any pattern or information we might get from the data. And so if we look at the data overall, and we don't separate for caution yes and no, that correlation coefficient should be between these two. And highlight one column, get this other column. You'll see that it's 0 0.23. So it's a pretty moderate relationship here for the caution no's, no relationship for caution yeses. And if we didn't separate for that at all, it's just kind of meh, it's pretty weak. So sorting categorically can help you see some patterns and trends that might get lost if you just made a scatter plot of all the points in the same color or the same shape.